Hi there, welcome you to Expo Hub channel. Myself Rakesh and now we are into exercise number 70. What people say about our channel, right? How many people are getting benefited from our channel? So you can see many people are getting jobs and many people are thanking me for the content which is helping them in their current role if they are already a RPA developer. So these are a couple of comments I felt to show you so that people get to understand the benefit of our channel and what people are talking about our channel. And please do subscribe to our channel. Don't just watch. Please do subscribe. That's where every day the contents that we are uploading, you will get notified. You can notify yourself and get benefit of them. Right. So please do hit on that notification button. And once you are on our channel, please do visit videos and playlist. Only when you get into videos and playlist, you can see there are hundreds of contents which are already created for you which you are looking to get an answer for so please scroll down and continue to watch the videos and the playlist so that you can find everything in an organized manner all right so with that let's get into our exercise so what is the exercise for today let's say you have been given a sentence or a string welcome to expo hub okay i hope you have already subscribed to our channel and from this string, I want you to use string methods to extract the channel name. Okay. So using string methods, you have to extract only the channel name. So what is the objective of this exercise? So the learning points is you have to have a knowledge on string value dot index of. Okay. Well, how this index of method works, how the last index of method works and how the substring method works. So if you are aware of all these three things, you can pause the video and continue to do it on your own. In case you are not aware, please continue with me, not to worry. Please continue with me and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so once complete, once you have completed this exercise, please do comment yes, so that I know that you have completed. Okay, so please do subscribe for more such contents. With that, let's get started and go into UI path. Okay, so first of all, let's take an assign activity. Okay, and having this, let me create a variable. I'm simply creating A. You can give your own word, but for demonstration purpose, let me create a variable called A. Okay, now here I have to have the value, default value is welcome to expo hub. Okay, so the default value I have set. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I want to understand how these three things works. Index of, last index of. Okay. So let's understand one by one. So let me create another variable called B. Okay. And here I'm going to keep this as integer. Let me delete by mistake it got created. Okay. This is integer. So index, index means it's a number, right? Index number. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to write it here, b, b is an integer type, okay, and now on the value side, let me write, so let's look at this, so a, a is containing what, it is containing the string, welcome to expo hub, okay, dot, if I say index of, okay, and what is, whose index you want to know, I want to know the index of space, okay, I'm giving a space here, getting it? a index of and here i'm giving a space i want to know what is the index of the space okay so here if i click okay now look at your variable your variable has multiple space welcome after welcome you have a space two and expo in between them you have a space there are two different space now if i write index of so which space the first space or the second space the third whatever the space is which space number it is going to bring it for you? It is going to bring the very first space. What is that index number? So let's see it. Let's use a message box. So this is very simple way to learn. Okay. If you are a beginner, you are learning. No worries. So here I'm simply mentioning B. Here if I run this. So what is happening? A index of. Okay, so it has started running. 
So what happened? It is saying the index of the first space is 7. So let's count it. Let's go to the variable panel. Let me make it 120. Okay. So let's go to the variable panel. And here in the variable panel, if you look at this, your index number always starts from 0. Okay. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the space number is 7. Getting it? So it is saying the first space is located at the 7th index number. So index number starts from 0. Getting it? Okay. This is the string in the double quote. That is the syntax. So from W if you count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the, the space comes in the 7th position. So that means you have to make a note of this syntax. Variable string variable dot index of if you give a space or at the rate or a or b whatever you are writing within this double quote it is going to bring the index number of its first instance you got it okay now if i write last index of instead of index of i am going to write last index of so this is bringing, bringing the first one right first first value of that so i am saying last index of very simple, the last space in that string, the last space available in that string will be brought. So if I run it here, it is going to bring the index number of the last space. Okay, so now you can see it is saying 10. Okay, so if I go over here, go to the variable panel, it is going to say 10. So it, this was 7th, right? 7th, 8, 9, 10. So next space index number is 10. Getting it? So now I my job is to find substring, right? I want to find that expo of channel only. That is the output I want. Now let's understand one more thing. Okay. Let's say I'm writing it here A. And here I am saying substring. Okay, a dot substring, a containing welcome to expo dot substring and if I say the format is 0, 5, I mean the index number, the first index number to the last, in, whatever the index number you want to retrieve. So I want to start from 2 to 5. So from index number 2 to 5, what is that is going to show you. If you say 0 to 5, so the first index number, last index number, that is the format. Okay, so if I say 0 to 5, what will come? 0, 5, 0 to 7, 0 to 8, 2 to 5, 3 to 5, 3 to 9, whatever you want, whatever you want, want you have to mention the first index number, last index number. So if you do this, the output, sorry, I have to write the output A, right? I have to say A. Okay. So if I do this, what is happening? It's supposed to show me Okay, so it is showing Velco. Okay, so why it is showing Velco? Reason being, if I go to the variable, you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so it is saying Velco. So 5 is M, uh, stops at M. Okay, so before 5, after including 0, it is showing the output to me. Getting it? Okay, so that is the output which has come. Okay, well, co. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so it is showing all the 5 digits starting from the index number 0 up to 5 strings or up to five characters okay getting it so this is understood what if i don't provide that five if i say simply zero or let's say i am going to simply say start from one but i am not going to provide the last okay if i say like this what is going to happen from one it is going to show until all right okay so it started from the W starts with 0 index. So it started from 1 and because I have not provided how many characters it should show me, it has provided the entire one. Getting it. Now using this two format, I need to pull out expo hub. 
so how will i pull out only xbox what i am going to do here look at this this is this is what i can do right so what i will do i will say a okay i want substring i want substring okay but from where i want the substring what is that first uh, this one so the first this one is a dot last index of i am saying last index of so the last index of what space so i want the starting value should be from that space plus 1 why i am saying plus 1 so that it will go to the next one okay then i will say comma a dot last index of plus 1 so the, the space value is 10 last space so value i shown you that so it is 10 10 plus 1 becomes 11 from the 11th character it is going to start from the 11th index number it is going to start okay and until what i will not mention a limit because expo hub is the last word right okay if i write this what is the output okay let's look at the output do you see expo hub it has exactly shown me the output so hope you have understood this simple logic okay very simple logic please do not skip it watch it from the beginning continue to watch from the beginning till the end so that if you are not aware it will help you to understand getting it guys so how i have got so 10th position was this so the starting position i have mentioned as 11 and i did not mention how many numbers i i just left it blank so that way i was able to find the expo so you can experiment various things with this by just by knowing this two syntaxes you can experiment a lot of things Okay guys so we'll come up with next interesting exercise for you and keep learning continue your journey thank you so much we'll meet in the next video bye bye